Dearly beloved, we are gathered here this evening to celebrate the matrimony of beer and whiskey. Beer or whiskey? Whiskey. Um, well, right now, I'm really liking the whiskey. I would choose whiskey over beer. Whiskey. 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 Beer. 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 Well, I'd choose a beer over a whiskey. I tend to drink more beer than I do whiskey, just uh, so I have a functional life. I'll drink anything you put in front of me, not gonna lie. If the sun's up, typically beer. If the sun's down, typically whiskey. It just depends on your mood. Uh, you know, one of the things I always tell people is you really can't make a good whiskey without making a good beer. So this is the 7th Annual uh, Beer and Whiskey pairing, and it is six whiskeys with six beers. Pairing the beer and the whiskey is awesome just because it brings out totally different flavors in the beer that you wouldn't think are even there. Uh, you take a sip of the beer first, then a sip of the whiskey, and then a sip of the beer because what happens is the beer puts moisture in your mouth, which then when you take a sip of the whiskey, cuts some of that proof, opens the whiskey up, but then when you go back to the beer, it really can change the flavor of the beer based on what the flavor of the whiskey is. Why do you think whiskey's in there on Arizona Beer Week? Why not like vodka or wine or well, you're, something you're, else? You're not going to pair a pair of beer with wine or vodka. Well, as I'm discovering tonight, the marriage of them together is amazing. I've never actually done this in this way. With a lot of people, I think they're looking for an experience with food and drink now, and that's what we think we do when we do beer and whiskey pairings like that. The old ways of thinking, the only way to drink whiskey is, oh, you can't drink it with water or ice, or, oh, you're only supposed to look at it for 20 minutes, and then maybe add a cricket's breath's worth of water, and then you can sip it. Those are gone. People are realizing, I'm paying for it, I'll drink it however I like. Yeah, I'm not working today, tonight, or tomorrow morning, so, I'm gonna enjoy the experience for sure. So, so does the accent come with the whiskey or did the whiskey come with the accent? Well, it usually all depends on if I'm drinking my bourbons, you suddenly talk like this. If I'm doing great scotches, you suddenly that way, or beautiful Irish whiskeys like that there, or even okay, some wonderful Canadian whiskeys are beautiful out there too. Wow.